When I was eight years old, my mother took me to a Christmas pageant at the local intermediate school. There, I first experienced the transformational power of music. In Michigan, intermediate school districts are for special needs students. My mom wanted to share with us her meaningful work helping young students with developmental challenges. Her goal that day was to broaden our exposure to the real world and to experience the joy of the season through another lens. It was so much fun watching the young students bouncing around with gusto, singing their songs and dancing. But what really rocked my world that night was a young boy who was aphasic. Aphasia is the inability to comprehend or to use words. And this young boy strode out into the center of the stage to end the pageant, looked at the audience fearlessly, and sang Silent Night in a pure voice soprano voice on nonsense syllables. And the vibrations from his voice flew directly into my heart and broke it open with a joy that I still feel a half a century later. It really, it was something that I couldn't really verbalize as a young child, but I instinctively knew that music was a connector. And I will never forget that little boy. I come from a family that were a musical family. Singing and playing musical instruments is something that we just did. It was our normal. And yet, this young boy was a little different. And through his music, he changed my world. As a preteen, I would sit on the middle step of a long winding staircase in my house. And I would just experiment with sounds. And I loved how it would resonate through my old Victorian home. It touched something deep within me, that a, a real joy that I wanted to nurture and explore. It's something like singing in the shower. I know, fess up to it. How many of you sing in the shower? Hmm? We all sound great in the shower. Oh yeah, we can let loose and get in touch with our emotions. Oh my man, I love him so. Oh, now we're not going there. Let's see. How about, I am woman, hear me roar. I am proud, I am invincible. I am tired. Let's face it, most of us here in this room today are pretty exhausted from our busy schedules, racing all around. But if we can stay in touch with music and use music in our lives, that can lift us up. Music is a very powerful tool. And the wonderful thing about singing is that you don't have to be very good at it to get that endorphin buzz. That's where today ties in this music talk ties into our theme of being sassy, lively, and spirited. When I first learned about this word sassy, it didn't resonate very well with me because growing up, that term to me meant somebody who was bold and brash and obnoxious. <clears throat> but then I looked up the urban definition of sassy. Oh, and I loved it. It said, sassy as someone possessing an attitude of ungodly cool. <laughs> oh yeah, I could go with that. <laughs> so no matter if you are shy, reserved, uh, contained, or a diva, 
I'd like you to join in with a little vocal exercise with me today. <laughs> Group participation. Now, if you could please rise up, stand up, where you are, shake out your hands because singing is physical. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, how many of you think you cannot sing hi? Hi. <laughs> well, let's put your hand in the air. Now we're going to tap into our inner child. Singing takes a little energy, so take a big breath. I'm going to demonstrate, and then you can. I'll have you repeat after me. We're going to be a fire engine. Start out low. <laughs> inhibited preteens and adolescents and women to uh, tap into their musical sassy is to um, loosen up and think about the uh, historical one of the most successful commercials in television history first I know you'll recognize this one let's go ho 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 Good. all right now Listen up, I'm going to sing one of what I think was one of the most hysterical and effective commercials in all of TV history. Just listen. No more Rice Krispies. We ran out of Rice Krispies. My tears will not stop till I hear that snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Well, that's kind of fun. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna get you to do this. So, now listen, you gotta be bold. That's the sassy part. And lively, get some energy going here. Take a big breath, and I'll say the first line and you echo it back and we'll compute, can complete it that way. No more ice crispies. No. after the terrorist attacks. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was really scared. I was terrified. Earlier that summer, I had written a song for some young students to help them understand it's important to take risks, and it's important to have courage to step out into the unknown. Little did I know that that song was going to be just as important for people of all ages. I used that song as my mantra. I sang it on my way to the airport out loud in my car. And as I was walking 
through the airport and into the jetways, over and over I would sing it to myself, getting on the plane, flying to Arizona, over and over. I can do it, I can do it, step by step. This I know. I can do it, I can do it. Face my fears and learn to grow. That song gave me courage. And when I got out there, the performances went as scheduled. But the people who were attending, some, some of them, that was the first time they had left the safety cocoon of their homes since the attacks. And many of them expressed that it was a profoundly uplifting, moving moment for them. And it certainly was for me. But what I really noted is that Music helped create community, a sense of belonging. And that's how the transformational power of music works. Recently, studies have reinforced that idea that singing in a choir or playing musical instruments together creates community. Music builds self-esteem, self-discipline, and it builds character. It's also very mathematical. Music uses regular math and higher math. And it, it just ties in so beautifully the arts and music with mathematical studies. In 2011, Finnish researchers published their work in Nordic science. And they found, which was contrary to what much of the science had been earlier about left brain and right brain, they found that with music, music incorporates and utilizes the whole brain. It's one of the few activities that use the whole brain. <laughs> there must be an app out there or something that shows how music and science correlate. But in 2002, a former astronaut scientist, pediatrician, empowered woman, May, Dr. May Jemison, gave an amazing TED talk out on how the arts and sciences should be taught together, including intuition and logic, using them together as one to create bold, bold thinkers. Unfortunately, over the past decade, the arts have been slashed for most of the curriculum. It is so important we, today, as mothers, as women, mothers, aunts, grandmothers, as keepers of the flame promoting our children's education, that we insist that the arts be included in the curriculum. We need to take the A from arts and add it to STEM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So we can create a bold energy, a wonderful synergy, working together to creatively help solve our world challenges. For 10 years, I volunteered singing at a nursing home twice a month, leading songs. And one Tuesday I was leading songs, and an elderly woman was wheeled in and was placed right before me in the front row. And I was leading all of the singing, and I looked down at this woman, and through her roomy eyes, she was very stiff in her wheelchair, but she looked up at me, and I could start to see the cloudiness clear away. And she looked at me puzzled and then started mouthing the words off the beat. And then eventually she started singing the words on the beat. And the next thing I know, we were just having so much fun singing back and forth, really enjoying ourselves. And then I looked next to her at the woman seated next to her, and I saw that she had tears just streaming down her face. And clearly, uh, something was going on in the front row, but I was 
trying to lead the whole group, so and I didn't stop until after we finished that series of songs. And I turned to this younger woman and I asked her, are you all right? And she looked up at me with the tears still glistening in her eyes and she said, this is my mother, motioning to the woman next to her. She hasn't spoken a word in over a year. the transformational power of music. You're not off the hook yet. <laughs> Today, you've let loose a little bit and found a little bit of your inner sassy, music sassy. But I want to challenge you to go home, find a hairbrush or a pencil, use that as your microphone, <laughs> Find your reflection in a mirror or a big picture window is even better. And just let loose and wail. I can guarantee you that you will have a big endorphin rush. And there'll be a stress buster. And I know you will feel mighty, mighty fine when you make your own kind of music. Who knows? Who knows? The life or community that you help to transform may be your own. 